Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is April the 9th of 2021, and because this is timing-wise very important issue, especially because of this date here that you see here, January the 21st, 2021, when I did publish this news here, uh, this concerned eventually MK Ultra portion of MK Ultra uh, con concerning my return from Poland. So just remember the day, January the 21st, 2021. And yeah, really, make no mistake, today is when all this stuff was recorded. Today is Friday, April the 9th of 2021. You can see this according to the local time here in Slovenia, in Novo Mesto. Right? Uh, now, I eventually did go ahead and I reserved not to even publish this stuff here. Uh, I should say I I took one down. I published it. There is even a video I have posted concerning that kind of stuff. It's everything I did. But then after I did, I removed the video and I turned this post into a draft. And that was really, really intelligent I did so. Uh, an American psychologist, Daniel Smith, aka Rex, if you like, that was his name he used under MK Ultra as a cover up. He told me, publish it so you cover your ass, do everything they gonna throw on your ass concerning your father. Uh, and then what you do is you suspend this, you put, you turn this into a draft. So in case something develops out of it, related to the police department, you don't have your ass covered. Uh, this was uh, really, really uh, stuff to be extremely careful with. No way unless you were gonna wreck yourself completely, would you wanna go and publish a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff? A local psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch. His name is Peter Kopsch. This is an individual. Uh, he eventually opened his private uh, yeah, you want to call this a clinic or whatever you want to call this. Oops, he was there in a the picture. Then he disappeared once I clicked on it. But this is the man right here that you see. Uh, designed this stuff per Belgrade. He did this stuff for Moscow. This is the gentleman right here. He is located right next to the police department, about maybe not even 200, 150 meters away from the main police department in the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, and I don't know. I don't know. Was it uh, he alone he designed this? I would say that he designed this with the help of the local police department. A local police department uh, which acted on behalf of the Slovenian state. When I say Slovenian state, I mean these people here. This is the Zbar, Zbar Parliament, if translated to English. It's a really, really uh, sad to note there was no such thing as left and right and whatever, you know. Uh, implicated in this crime against me are people such as uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom myself out. People such as um, 
this individual, his name is Alish Hoyce. He's now interior minister. This is the number one individual who was actually training even, uh, participating abuse during MK Ultra, and have studied, evaluated, answered questions to Americans, to American psychologists who was here, who witnessed this stuff, a questions on what exactly could present uh, an issue for the state. When they were doing all this stuff, they were evaluating it so thoroughly. Uh, the psychologist acted instead of me, um, evaluating from his point of view how I would act, what I would do. This is you talking about American psychologist. While they would be doing this, evaluating the stuff they would do, you know, they were studying ways on how I would respond to crime, basically, to crime. When is this individual, which is strange because supposedly this is a completely, completely opposite political party of this man right here that you see with the Vladimir Putin. Strangely enough, for this one it's not difficult to figure out, his name is Borat Pahl, this is a Slovenian president, it's not difficult to figure out to whom he belonged, but strange enough, that a man like this, like Alish Hoyce, would eventually take big ass initiative in the crime against me. He would associate with Borat Pahar, with this man right here that you see, um, and would continue to send me to Serbia to meet wife. After already Jako Rezhnatovic's death, he would continue to send me this beautiful girl. You see here, this Tsetsa here. Um, not that I would want to be there, hell no, uh, but this guy knew, and this Chetnik here, who by the way is a war criminal, this is actually related to the war criminal. And he's related to a whole bunch of other Chetniks, war criminals. Involved in this case also, uh, in MK Ultra case. And it's really, really weird. It's really, really weird to note, strange, that you would have, especially because this guy supposedly would present like a white guards, if you want, you know, Bela Garda. People, is not a communist, this is not Belgrade, this is Slovenia, uh, this is independent Slovenia, this is for the Slovenian people, and this and that, blah, blah, this is what it was, right? That's what it was all about. How the hell would anybody even think about this? But, yeah, it, he knows already because of what I stated, um, even how he evaluated the issues and how he answered, how he cons uh, he made a consultations with his with he with American colleagues, literally, not only with the Borat Pahor. Borat Pahor would take a cover at one point, and it would be this guy. This guy would be like the last one along the Borat Pahor to start to run uh, the issue. Now this is a Slovenian interior minister at the present, and <laughs> Borat Pahor that's a Slovenian president. Well, the fact of the matter is, in between a white guard, uh, therefore the people who today evidently, obviously, undeniably side with the Chetniks, with the Serbian Chetnik fraction, and the people who would proclaim themselves in the past as a communist, the people that would go and pay respect at the Slovenian memorials to the partisans, there is no effing difference. They all collaborate with one another 
for the sake of this man right here, and I'm sure you do know this king here. Um, you know him. I don't mean the Saudi king, but I am sure that you know this guy here. His name is Vladimir Putin, in case you don't. Right? So this is, this is a new Tsar wannabe that is taking the whole world to the to the bits, basically, to the end. He's driving the whole world insane. And when I say he is driving the whole world insane, I gotta tell you that he drove my family totally, totally, totally nuts. He broke my family apart. This isn't only about cancer, poisoning, issues that touched myself, it touched uh, my closest, uh, my inner circle, basically, anywhere from family to the people that we interacted with, and of course the people that got involved in MK Ultra, who was not according to taste from Belgrade or Moscow. What I want to say is that to the degree that my father Mm, you know, he's not a saint. He really is an insane. Insane. He's just a weak person. He's a weak person. He is a self-centered, very egoistic personality. Uh, there's one life that matters to him in this world the most, and that's basically his ass. But there is good in him too. But I think that he completely lost control over himself. I think that he completely let it go way too far he wandered away and I think that if you just let go a little bit I think that if you just let go like that just tiny little bit I think that you are fucked excuse me on my expression for good for your lifetime when you do it with these people with this Chetniks from Serbia with the people from Moscow with the mafia with the gangsters you're fucked you're finished because they not gonna only find their way always back to you somehow, some way. Uh, they they're never happy. They're never satisfied. They'll always go and want more. And if it takes even your life or, or your family member or whatever it is. So what they did was they said, as a reward, my father in Bosnia. That's what I understand. And I am pretty damn sure that this is what it is. Uh, with something that could actually be considered as incitement, maybe into genocide, maybe something like this. Will this stuff happen or not? It's very, very, it's extremely difficult to tell. It's extremely difficult to tell because in Bosnia you have a huge, not maybe huge, but you do have a fraction of Bosnian people that are pro chetnik state. Yeah, and you would be surprised. You would be completely, completely surprised. That would that would come to you like let's say completely shocking. Involved in MK Ultra is this individual here? His name, for instance, is Hadji Fazovic. Haji Fezovic is a very, very, very Muslim name. This should be the person that you could say, well, my ass is secure. I'm okay with this guy. He will not go and do something. Well, um, after the interview with... Uh, After the interview with my friend Nikolina Balaban, um, really, in Bosnia it's difficult for the people because they it's sometimes they don't know who is who, and sometimes you're going to have a prominent people sitting inside of the studio. Uh, claiming they are Bosnian, pro-Bosnian, and this and that, and you see them every day, and you don't actually know who they are. And well, maybe everybody is good, but it takes one bad apple, and then people don't know anymore what exactly is happening. 
That's called infiltration. A sa Bosnom i Hercegovinom, Daytonu, vakcinama i koroni. U razgovoru sa novinarom Senadom Hačifejzovićem koji je najavljivan ovih dana provokativnim trailerom na YouTube-u, Vučić je prije svega istakao da kako njegovi pozivi na sradnju, ekonomsko i infrastrukturno povezivanje i ukazivanje da smo u regionu jači kada govorimo jednim glasom, nisu nikako stvaranje srpskog sveta, kako to prema Hačifejzoviću govore pojedini lideri iz regiona. Srbija danas napisala je da... Uh, it did, it did, it did make a record his interview with Vucic, but not because it will be something revolutionary, it will be stated. It's just that people realize who Mr. Haji Fezovic is. Uh, well, I met people like this in Bosnia on and on, ongoing. Uh, nobody can tell about the war in Bosnia more than I do because I really had a first hand to meet people interact with them, got their witnessing. Well, I think probably because they assumed, uh, or they, they were not in position, for the most part they were not in position to take a different side, uh, or they might have even assumed that, you know, like the deal is over and there is nothing you can do about it. You know, when I'm talking about the deal, can't help myself but to touch an issue of the politic, global politic. Why all this stuff is happening? Well, imagine you go and you beat like this guy up. You beat him to the pulp. Whatever that you do, there are different ways to beat an individual, abuse him mentally, physically, whatever it is that you do. Once you do this, once you complete that kind of stuff, and then the only thing you do is you start to input into this person that you violated um, a grain of hope. That may be someone, some way, somehow that's going to help him out. Because you need him on your way through the political world, when you're on a political stage, just for a second, just for a little bit, just so you pass through, just so others can see that maybe you know how to manipulate him, how to abuse him, um, how easy it is to get, to get by. Basically, they do that stuff. They, they do a lot of that stuff. They signal each other through this when you give a credit to someone that you really shouldn't. Um, and they feel that they become empowered, that this is the way to go. Of course, the guy who counts on you, somehow that you might be this a person who's going to save him, because after all, he told you that he's going to save you at one point, realizes in the end that there is another scenario behind it, that not only that he's reminded of this, because this is... You know, MK Ultra, it's uh, interesting stuff. Uh, but also something else. And because once you did this, once you gave him a hope, uh, you also loaded him with the issues that continue with abuse. You tell him, let's say, and if I do this, something like I go on the plane, I go up in the plane, and... I squeeze on the plane when I go up. Um, that means that it's not, it's not, we're not gonna do it. You know, there are many, many points like this that you can make to disturb, dement, trouble individual, even more trouble. Trouble if the individual is in a really bad shape and so on, for, uh, let's say, 26 years like myself, then you can, you can do a lot of mental damage to the person like that. Some would like to think. Killing hope, basically. It's, it's called a killing hope. And you have thousand people like this laid down in front of you. It, it actually affects you. Without ability for employment and stuff like this, it can be pretty damn hard. And when you're doing the right stuff, 
looking for the job at the same time publishing the stuff and something like really 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 important comes up and it's your family that gets on the way and you get punished punished with something brutal and you get punished with something brutal really really brutal with such something so brutal that in no freaking way even that, that it concerns your family even if it concerns your closest members you no longer can afford to ignore this even that i did it was really really hard for a long 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 time to you know to ignore this stuff but i'm glad i did though you at that point in time you no longer can because it becomes Completely, completely, completely impossible to ignore. It's impossible. These are the kind of issues that it really doesn't matter even if they, if your closest family members are concerned, these are the issues that there is no freaking way you possibly, possibly can avoid anymore. Stuff for which you are actually guaranteed that there is nothing you will be able to do about even from the people that supposedly would be somehow on your side or maybe not according to them alone you know what I mean that stuff have happened on April no not on April the 9th but on April the the 3rd this is just a repeat here it concerns the video of gland notes cancer poisoning of my cousin Tomas from Bela Kraina and I give a wonderful beautiful everything audio presentation about my own cousin who was poisoned poisoned almost to death He's from Bella Kraina. Uh, and I knew something is going to happen. I was promised this stuff. It depends on how bad it's going to be. And this, this shit was really bad. The next day, uh, just as I have stated, um, I was knocked out. Really, really, really knocked out badly. This was very, very bad. Whatever, whatever this stuff was used, and just as I was promised by my knees, um this stuff is really really bad because you have a pain you have a pain literally from issues connected to the gland nodes it affects them severely most most severely so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this i'm gonna square this away and i want to touch these issues here as a matter of fact, the stuff that I have removed was related to the Bosnia and Herzegovina. This is a war torn apart little country over there in the Balkans, a beautiful, beautiful country. And as it appeared to me that just like a gentleman that you have seen, no, therefore, this gentleman right here, Haji Fezovic, and this is Alexander Vuc, is a Chetnik, Serbian Chetnik involved in this case, almost from completely from beginning of it. When you have uh, the issue concerning ethnic cleansing, genocide, for which I am certain my father did refuse to have anything to do with, especially once uh, his name is Malik Ninja, is the one 
who have written this song. have appeared inside of this uh, room and they tried to F with my father on how um, he's a hero and this and that Where through the song like this he became completely completely pale he totally became pale he became hot uh, it it meant to him nothing but trouble this was already completely insane it was borderline insane this shit that he tolerated somehow became over the course of the time for him very unpleasant he would not want to go down there no more even but he had to go uh and boy uh once he saw the beautiful song like this he understood basically what the name was he became completely lost uh at that time he really did lost some sanity it was it became probably a little bit too personal for him God knows whether those are real Bosnian people or not I do not know some are right here across the river and then there is yeah well right in front of us others located maybe two three kilometers away from here that they my father did i don't know what that whatever in bosnia none of which however provided with any kind of material to me none of which however would come and say here's the material you can do this you can do that you can do this you can do that um i rate this uh, i don't know even how i would rate this uh, definitely something that i would say probably was used with idea to increase in me anger against one that's what I think that kind of stuff was used uh, that definitely did not work in absolutely any way they wanted me to see him probably as such or something like this without even submitting any kind of proofs anything like this immediately like simultaneously I saw this individual in both of those guys I did not even I don't even see these people as legitimate for one thing I have to tell you that was like my immediate reaction especially because one of them told me that he has to live here and this and that and over the course of the time that he will incorporate also in the Serbian society and the stuff like that so that kind of stuff kind of tells me that this Bosnian Serbs are either completely fake or it's God knows what kind of issues I don't know when you come to the person with the issue like this that concerns him alone because he was abducted there abused heavily uh, and then you have actually nothing you can demonstrate to one uh, that's not exactly very legitimate that tells quite a lot about what exactly we are dealing with here right not much in that case now is there that kind of stuff does that kind of stuff exist probably it does because this individual here his name is Alexander Vujic you know the individual that you see right in front of Haji Fezovic this Chetnik however was very very slick along Mladic along Karadzic he learned from Milosevic basically these are all Sheshul was his closest mentor. They all were criminals, these people. And so what they do is, because you don't know who you are talking to with, um, they test you, they test you, they, they, they set you up. If, you, if they want to use you to the bitter end, if they want to use you like to the bitter, 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 bitter end, what they do is they involve the family members that you should care for they involve you alone obviously you should care for against also what you should care for but you no longer can afford let's say this individual this is definitely definitely a criminal this guy here this is a media Weber. this is a teacher in school right here 
in Shosky Center of Novo Mesto, a professor with a doctoral title. This is the guy who did the stuff that, how can I say better than this guy here, his name is Simon Wiesenthal, would love to meet if he only had the authority, if he only had the way to indict him to the court where he would be trialed for his crimes against humanity. It is as simple as this. This is, a, this is actually the worst thing, the worst person that happened to me during MKUltra. And regretfully, I have to say that with what I have stated right now, more than anybody, I have heard my mom. Because my mom They're all worried. My father and my mom now. Just yesterday, went to the city, and this is the new photo she obtained. This is the new photo she obtained. told me that she could deal with father gone of the picture, but she could possibly not deal with my cousin, um, my niece, I should say, and her husband of the picture. The thing is, they have a children. She likes children. She considered them she considers them as normal, and I just don't have a children. I could say that these people replaced me, because I'm actually her child, with some other people completely. In a way, they did. In a way, they did. But still, it's something like this. My mom demonstrated me. This was the picture yesterday for which you told me that it's going to be used for a jar in which you placed, um, in English translated, how is that, cremation, for the cremation jar, that this is what that's going to be like. And for the cremation jar, I was well brainwashed that cremation because Nobody can identify whether it's you or it's not you inside. And just yesterday, we have gone through that issue. Meaning that she would disappear. She would just... And it appears to me that she was that serious. Because according to MK Ultra booklet, like this, thick one. No, probably, I don't know, maybe like this. Maybe like this thick. Maybe that thick. I have no idea. I'm going to explain to you how that works. She committed quite a few what it would be otherwise considered as a suicidal things by literally throwing herself under the threads of thank for me. This, I might say, I must say, includes the lies she created in the past in 2017 and stuff like this on what I went to Hungary 2016 and so on 
Uh, this is the stuff for which I was told I'm about to demonstrate to you the stuff. That kind of stuff. That's already completely crazy stuff. That's a stuff that is not only the repaired shoe, that I would repair the shoe, but already the repaired, whatever I would repair, uh, the father would go the next day and would cut like with the knife, just that kind of stuff. Uh, they both did crazy stuff so that I suppose I would have some kind of proof that I'm not completely insane, I'm sure. That's the way I see it. But over the course of the time, per Dr. Kopsch, in hope that it would place me in a neutral position, in a meaning that in a position through which I would be compelled to negotiate with the Slovenian government, uh, with a Moscow, with a Belgrade about the whole thing. That was the core idea. Meaning that occasionally, just as you have seen, my father would come here one time after I posted a very important video the same night he would come, he would piss right in front of my room. Another time you have seen him, he would go and he would uh, destroy uh, MP3 player in front of me. Uh, another time he would go and then he would also do some other stuff too. The kind of stuff that, a very, very disturbing stuff, very personal stuff, I'm about to demonstrate to you. Basically, all forms of stuff, even including the stuff that could get, could possibly get attention from um, psychiatrists. His speech about the police, it was really, really interesting one, I must say. I'm sure you remember his speech about the police, on how he is afraid of the police, on how the police can go and lock, I don't know, a totally paranoid, uh, a number of people, uh, start talking about some mechanic over there from Ratish, uh, and stuff like this, on how he works for the police, something that I could actually assume that somebody else is listening, recording it, watching it maybe, and even could use and talk about the police, the one that lied, the one that made him state that I was engaging in domestic abuse in 2012, that I was under Zbravik supporter, that I wanted to exterminate Slovenian people and stuff like this. That kind of stuff. So they came and hospitalized me. Throw me inside a psychiatric hospital where they claimed that I didn't know where I was, what time it was, what year it was, where the fuck I was. When you consider that kind of scenario, and I demonstrated you one a little earlier, you got to admit that this shit here can be pretty damn interesting, this one here. This kind of stuff here. That the plan for my father was already an arrangement inside of the home for elderly people. Now when it comes to elderly people, home for elderly people, folks, I don't know about the home for elderly people, but what I can tell you, about the home for elderly people is that I identified home for elderly people from A to Z. I have already submitted you the video in which is completely totally evident that I recognized even employees not only the renovation of the home for elderly people that I totally, totally, over the course of the time when I was supposed in the U.S. only, 
was brought to the home for elderly people in the city of the Novo Mesa. So the stuff that I am t talking to you about, and I'm just about to go to the audio, this one right here. where I will demonstrate to you that it was all the time for the beginning of the time on a table is an option per Slovenian government to get my parents inside of the home for elderly people and nobody can say that this is not fact uh, after the good amount of job applications I have sent out there with no positive uh, answer to it it's a very valid point for me to make that and I'm, this is the way it is I was brainwashed under MK Ultra severely that I will spend some time alone that as soon as I publish you know this kind of videos related to this kind of stuff uh, video, let's say, mom of my mom, how she totally burns onion and then throws that inside of the soup, that kind of stuff. Really interesting, crazy stuff. They're going to come to pick them up, and that's when you're going to be fucked, alone, without the money, without the income, blocked on an employment market and stuff. You got to admit that for me to say something like this, for the government, Slovenian government, who did that kind of stuff, it's logical. It's not something that I would imagine out of blue, out of nowhere. My mom, you can hear her, reminds me of that stuff. She reminded me many, many, many times of this. And it's actually good she did. And it was actually really good for Rex, for Daniel Smith. American psychologist that he told me about about BS they planned on about game they planned on upon return my return from Poland uh, on on how to do the things otherwise they would have already removed them a long time ago because my mom and my dad were eager to give proofs and once I would submit those kind of proofs online it would be the end Look, uh, the two of us, both of us, dad and myself, are going to go home for elderly people. Where are you going to go, boy? Where will you go? Answer me. I tell my mom, dear mother, thank you very much for bringing this subject up. Made a very good point, very, very, very point. Um, what can I say? I was in a trouble. I didn't know how to see it, what to think about it. But it came to conclusion that Slovenian government It really, really matters not. Some acted on behalf of this individual here because of, uh, I have no idea, uh, was it his so-called communist past? Or what was it? So-called Slavic relations? While others did knowingly 
that individual is rotten to the core and serves no one other than a German neo-Nazi politic. Such is the story of Alish Hoys. But the difference between these people, there is none. They serve same interest because the boss of this kind of politic of all this, the chief, the number one, this is this here. This is no one else than this here. Look, I'm going to magnify this stuff here. I'm sure that you know Frau Merkel. I'm sure you know who Adolf Hitler is. And basically, this is what it is. But what exactly have these people hoped for? What exactly was the final one to accomplish? Besides, perhaps, that I would turn against my family, blame them for it all. Because that's, that's what I was taught. Just as soon as you publish this, we come, we pick it up. That's it. That's what they brainwashed. But that really, that really would do nothing for me. Slovenian politicians dreamed about gaining immunity from me. The criminals inside of the parliament involved in this case dreamed literally about if you're not going to touch your mom and dad, then you're not going to be able to touch us either. Point. Others, a little bit more developed, a little bit more sophisticated, and it, yeah, it does involve the foreign politic, foreign interests. Dreamed about this issue here. This is a Belarus. The Belarus it is. The Belarus for which all the Western politicians know will never ever be let go. They will never ever Belarus people, the majority of the Belarus people would never ever let a Belarus to fall in the hands of the neo-Nazi circle. The majority of the Belarus people did not side with the people like Navalny or Chihanovskaya. They did not side with it. They did not side with it. I personally, because I know what European Union is all about, have also rejected the German idea about something for which I knew it will never ever get through, but it will push what they refer to as a dictator or Lukashenko on a knees in front of the Vladimir Putin. So, if you look at, on a scale, you can clearly see that we have nothing else from either side you look, and from Poland, and from the Czech Republic, we have a Putistan sea, which is of the little politicians who all serve a common, greater politic, which is a global, it's a German politic, it's a Berlin. This is basically what we have. It's not difficult to see at all about what is happening. For instance, Prime Minister Andrei Babic, this is the man, if you remember what was done to my car, in Czech Republic even. And went ahead. Did not hesitate to steal the telephones. Who seems is in love, not only with the money, with the Berlin, but it seems that his connection, his allegiance to Vlad, to the Vladimir Putin, to this German politic, is doing him really, really good. Is doing him really good. He's 
so confident, Mr. Bobich, that only, not only he would go and place his own son inside of the mental hospital, but he would go like this and he would just break, vandalize, have criminals vandalize vehicle of somebody from abroad, from, from elsewhere, like this. Well, this is this same politician who did it. This is the same politician who was involved in it. And you can go and you can read. The guy actually abducts, hijacks his son to Crimea. Already Russian Crimea, of course. After one declined to bend down to psychiatric threats. So... If he doesn't want to bend in front of the psychiatric threats, what he will do is, he takes him for a little bitting to Crimea. He brings him as a gift to Putin, so he can get a little beaten up. And that is so nice, they drug you up, and then you go through the little beating, basically. But on a scale, on a greater scale, if you were to magnify this uncle here, this is Uncle Putin. This is yet another Uncle Putin here. So, from totally fake revolution, for which they knew it's going to fall apart in Belarus, they knew it. They totally knew about this. They knew that Lukashenko, before Lukashenko, is going to give Belarus to a Berlin, straight to the Berlin. He, too, will go and quit Belarus and hand one instead to Putin. And it doesn't matter how bad Putin, what Putin, what this, what that, it matters not. Likewise, this individual here, who supposedly disappeared to Germany due to poisoning and was involved to anti ultra I have already released the video that demonstrates information that completely demonstrates that I have a profound knowledge of this man. He was involved in anti since 96 and even went to Poland not because of work but due to a backpack he had to carry because he was a city boy. He developed a problem, a severe problem with the spine and let me say that I am sorry. I am sorry. I'm not laughing at an individual. I'm not, I'm not insane that I would go and score. I did score him under MK Ultra. I should say, like I scored him under MK Ultra, I laughed at him. But I laughed at everybody, not only at him. For the reasons I have written on my news site. The reason why that just two years earlier, three years earlier, I have completed a contract abroad the ship, Meridian, Celebrity Cruise Lines, that requires me to work 20 hours, seven days a week where I had co-workers that served in a French Foreign Legion watching my feet soaked in my own blood. Literally, this is, this is in a shape that my feet were. And these people are still alive. You can talk to them. Because nobody could possibly believe this was possible. My feet were so inflammated, I, put, I couldn't put the shoes and in, uh, legs inside of the shoes because I didn't have the right shoes. It's a special kind of wear that is being used on these cruise liners for the people, for the workers. And when I saw this, guys, you know, it was just, I was drugged up, okay? How about that? Now, I did so with a smile on the face. These people did with a cry. It angers me that when I present a crucial stuff, like the, the stuff was about my cousin, I am extremely, extremely sensitive when it comes to this stuff here. 
it wasn't about the all kinds of friends and everything. Uh, when I when I when I talk about the stuff like this, this isn't about obviously I'm not even talking about this here anymore. I'm not talking about this. You see what this is? This is about 30, 20 percent between 30, 20 and 30 percent of the proofs. You see this here? These are audio recordings in which I have recognized people and where in which people confirmed have recognized me here in Slovenia, abroad, in other countries and so on, where I'm not supposed to be. It's about 20, between 20 and 30 percent of what I already have done, and it's still missing, and it's probably about maybe even twice as much as you see here that I have to still put it on on the internet. And instead of that shit, instead of doing my work, I'm losing the stuff with the people like, well, not only my family members that are, if you understand what exactly the issue is when they tell you it's either you or him faced with, you understand? It's either you for whom we have approves about what you have done or him, it's either your family members or him Naturally, when you consider the stuff so important that needs to be done that you're not happy when you see people like a Navalny getting in between and starting the pigeon dance basically on a chessboard. To whom, by the way, or I should say even why, okay, I should say why mainstream media dedicates an excuse Yes, they dedicate ex as an excuse not to see you. Yeah, he's a, everything they have stated. He really knows how to do the stuff. But still, he's fake. And that issue alone would not even be an issue for me. I wish him all the best in his life. But the problem here is that his politic, his German politic, is completely indifferent. It eventually is discouraging. Other people who know about this case is taking away chance from this world to actually for something that would actually change one for better. He is seen by the Western mainstream media for a good reason as a hero. That's basically if you think that this here is a good reason. If you like this, then yeah, it's a good reason. It's for the good reason. If you like this. Then definitely it's for the good reason. If you like a neo neo Nazi swastika, then this stuff is definitely for a good reason. This is why I have a problem. Otherwise, I don't have a problem with anybody. I wish everybody all the best. Zdrovia. And so, to preserve my family, and that's my family is my mom and my dad. My family is not somebody somebody that somebody injected and I was borrowed power to make myself clear per political agenda inside of my case is to basically to preserve and this my idea is to present in this video a fact that my my family members my mom and my dad are actually compelled into a crime for which regretfully I have to say this is why so deep this stuff I'm not gonna say I have to point 
Yes, hope for elderly in Slovenian city, Novo Mesto identified. Yes, of course, identified. And the gentleman, which otherwise I never ever would. And his name is Sergey, and he's from Belarus. I have to regretfully point at an individual whom they refer to as a dictator, and his name is Lukashenko. I have to tell you, I have to tell you, Sergey was asking me that to save your mom and your dad, you have to do that. He said, shit, I'm not going to be say, able to see my girlfriend here in Slovenia, this and that, because of this stuff. But you have to do to save your, your, uh, your dad and your mom. Well, I have to say that it's not a Lukashenko, even less Sergey, who is guilty for it. In a little bit, I will give you a complete explanation. But it's eventually a Putistan, you know, a sea of the Putistan, a sea of the neo-Nazi swastika. Berlin, the one, you know, when you look on the bigger scale of all this, they requested this from the Putistan. They want me, they want to break me too. They want me to say, yeah, Lukashenko did it. It's Lukashenko and so on and so forth. Well, yes, Sergei was used, Sergei begged through Lukashenko for my life. He said, please, no. He got fucked badly by watching me. He was sure that I was not going to be able to do it ever. We would walk back and forth, back and forth. And he was begging me, um, also, something that he don't understood, serious. To become serious, it's, it's it, the moment you become serious, when you're exposed to MKUltra, you're dead. It's already too late for you. This is your finish, your ghost. You just go, whoosh, you're gone. Never become serious. If you're going to become serious under MKUltra soon, they're going to use you as a, as a Unabomber, Timothy McVeigh, or something like this. Don't, don't ever do this. He said, you're never going to make it, man. You're never going to make it to Poland and this and that. You, you're never going to, you know. And and it was just, uh, he spent time walking back and forth, helping me collect proofs, helping me to get no people. See this guy, see that guy. Right here in Slovenia. And one time he said, on a golf course, he said, you know, I, I, I was begging for your life. They won't let you go. They will not let you go. They will not let you go. I saw this guy so frustrated that you have no idea. He was worried about me, like for his own son. Yeah, he's my age. He liked me a lot. And... Uh, Basically, what went on here was Lukashenko liked me a lot, and for that shit, Lukashenko is going to hate me. Now, Lukashenko, how can I say? Lukashenko played bad person in front of the people for whom he believed were actually not any good but he liked me a lot. Lukashenko simply did not have, uh, you don't have a choice, you know, and if he would make this kind of choice, you know, every choice he made, uh, he wouldn't be alive probably anymore anyways because he does this you know the stuff that I already said right now what I stated is already well you know I am saying this because Lukashenko is not guilty for what you're about to hear Sergei a career soldier 
is guilty even less. The best would be for me probably to go to videos which I have. These are videos that involve anywhere from cooking water uh, with the pots which are designed to produce rust. to all kinds of other issues that, as I already partially have demonstrated, that are just very, very dangerous issues and simply um, are not doing any good. They are not, these issues aren't doing any good, not to me, not to my mom, not to my father. Uh, if they're not doing any good to them, they're definitely not doing any good to me. Uh, my dad and my mom would not be doing this kind of shit on their own, out of their own, out of blue. Uh, that crazy nobody is. My father always was having a paradox, idiotic, stupid situations. Uh, but that he would go and do the stuff like this, he would not go and do the stuff like this. He was trying along the way to get to help me somehow, some way, anyhow. But both of my parents, both of my parents were used for nothing more than a hostages. Sergei from Belarus was used, basically they told him, you are their son, you are their son. And so that he would go out there and their job, their job was to poison him, drive him insane. Uh, and for him, basically to gather the proofs, as much as crazy this shit sounds, uh, and through all this shit drive me insane to the degree that I would eventually get out there uh, not the stuff that he would do, but this was re this would result to, uh, and accuse Lukashenko that he also is a murderer and stuff and tra 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 stuff like that. That kind of stuff, basically. That's what they have used Sergei here in Slovenia for. Sergei, however, was used for more. Sergei would take me out also for the walks. Um, he had a broken spine, and he had, I told you, uh, the surgery on his gland node. Therefore, man was evaluated for the same health issues, or at least similar. I don't know how much the same he had as I was. Uh, he, too, had a problem with what he claimed was a gas poisoning, caused him a breathing difficulties even, that kind of stuff. Um, it was all kinds of shit that he would basically go through with idea that my parents at the end would have an excuse and ability to say that they did it because they had to, because they had no reason and this would then all fall on the shoulders of Lukashenko, uh, and there you have it. To put it plain and simple, I don't know if now this is going to happen, if this shit is going to come out now like this. I have no idea about that. I have no idea, but I am not going to go. Not against Sergei, not against Lukashenko, because I can't. This is very nice, but I still need them to come back. Lukashenko was all over the Novo Mesto since 95. He would come here, right under the Tershka Gora, all over the Novo Mesto. He loved Novo Mesto. He would go to Brest near Ljubljana. Brest is a city in Belarus. Um, he liked it here, he enjoyed coming here, and I hope he comes for more. 
good time to have it here. He had a family here too, occasionally. And simply, um, when it comes to Sergei, that's really crazy that I would, this was the most, uh, the nicest guy that I have no, I mean, excuse me, but no fucking way I'm gonna go against him. You know, there was some other people who claimed me that you have to, but you have to, but you have to, I did. I just did, that's all I, that's as far as I can go. This shit is happening for the greater Putistan. Putistan is the area concerning Eastern Europe. And that Putistan is a subject to a Berlin politic, to the politic from Berlin. And this is a global neo-Nazi agenda. And I don't have anything to say about this stuff. And my father and my mother were used as a hostages by the Slovenian government, who is acting on behalf of Belgrade. They set up my father and my mother, actually my father, through the issue I have explained, they have, it, now I'm not going to say mind control, but I already have explained how they do it. You find yourself in a wrong first circle like this, they didn't know any this shit to my father, they did also to other Slovenian people, so they were able to guide him like this for the nose, whatever, do with them whatever they wanted to. This is how the criminal this stuff works. This is how criminal this stuff is. So I am being blatantly honest about how things are. If I go to videos, it looks pretty damn crazy. Maybe the best, the first place I would want to resort myself to. It, uh, I would go to this one here. Now let's go with this here. Let me explain about this video here. Uh, about this audio portion here. In this audio portion, my mom, who knows, no, <laughs> I, my mom and my dad know that I'm gonna come from Poland with a broken spine, because Sergei did too. They have seen what have happened to people. There are people here who suffered that kind of stuff. There is a neighbor right here who suffered in Poland too. He had a problem with the spine already before, but in Poland it was finito. That's how he met his wife right here in, in, in uh, Terme here. They were just waiting for another one to come you know, if you make it. And so, my mom, according to instructions of psychiatrists, his name is a Peter Kopsch, the man I already have demonstrated a little earlier, doesn't tell me that morning that, as she tells me that we go to the city, that there is a huge gas bomb that needs to be placed in the car, I don't know, one or two, whatever. I am having, I am downstairs waiting for her back and forth. The bomb is right there. I could just open the trunk, put one inside, she see it, she knows it. That's what was really, really strange, unusual. Well, once I pulled the car out, finally, and I do have the whole audio, she tells me, hey, uh, there is a bomb you have to put inside of the car. Well, you know, uh, the problem becomes problem not only because of that, but because this already happened once. And my mom told you under MK Ultra myself that you by any chance not gonna go and do something like this. That if something like this is not gonna happen, that you're gonna pull out the car and then take the bomb inside. No 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 no. You must make sure that 
you wait, you wait enough that I come and that I, that I tell you to put this in the trunk and then you take the car out. Don't carry anything like this and this and that to damage your service spine and stuff like this. Oh, that's not very pleasant. It's actually worse. A bit earlier, I had an incident father played. Father played, orchestrated the incident um, in which he repeated from empty ultra book, lock himself inside of the toilet, faint. Dead on a toilet, unconscious, sitting, and me brainwashed, bullied, bullshitted under MK Ultra if I know how to open the door from, uh, you know, the toilet. It's the key like this. It's really not a big deal. It was for some, some couldn't. It was quite a few people that evaluated if they can do it. I guess they made a conclusion that I can. And I found myself on the same scenario Sergey did. And some others too. He was not the only one they evaluated. After two hours that my father sat inside of the toilet, just actually inside of the shower room, bathroom, I would go ahead, I would prepare the key to the degree that the only thing I had to do is basically push the key and the key would fly out. I would unlock the door and let the mom go inside. I would. Did, I did not even want to touch his privacy or whatever. At my mother's request I did this. Because we didn't know because he wouldn't even answer anything anymore. And so I did. My mother get in, he is... Um, semi-conscious right he's sitting over there on the on the, on the on the toilet and the next thing you see is i with a broken spine i was upon return from poland so this about the bomb you're about to hear gas bomb this is not the only issue it's just not good when they tell you that we're gonna fuck you the spine like this end up dragging my father from bathroom to the to uh, placing him on hands right inside of the bed. If you've broken back, you can go ahead and you're welcome to try. But this is the kind of stuff that can actually leave you permanently disabled too. Um, now that he eat a lot, that's good. Um, I couldn't do it because of my pain. That, that, that's when I realized and I reminded myself of the gentleman who worked at the home for elderly people. He worked with the elderly people and he had all kinds of stuff he would uh, do for these elderly people. This is the friend. He's from Trebnie and he was the one he was used to evaluate all the test subjects on this issue. Uh, his name is Beto. This is a fisherman. Uh, and he would go and he would tell exactly who did what, how, this and that. Uh, they all failed, he claimed, because they overestimated their strength. I did too. I really almost broke my back. You know. But anyhow, I did manage to put him with mom on uh, shit on a cover, bed cover, and uh, so I drag him somehow inside of his bed, inside of the, uh, inside of his room. The play upon return from my Paul and started like this, that he would have, um, that's how he drove me insane. He would have a bucket like this, a bucket, a regular bucket basically, and he would go at night and he would just piss inside of the bucket without even placing any cover on it. And Beto, his friend, claimed me that old people do the stuff like this, that they, that, that 
it's a normal stuff that oftentimes this stuff happens to the people like this because they, they can't get up to the toilet and so on and so they do that kind of stuff. It's the first thing that destroys them. They get demented and all kinds of stuff. They put me like a hundred reasons why my father is demented. And really, boy, every morning I would fucking come, smell that stuff. I thought that I'm going to go insane. It's just that you could never tell anything to my father. So I finally created like a cover so that when he would release himself he would cover that thing so that that foams of urination would not go all over the room open the windows and stuff like that um, claimed me my father that he is a uh, like he's dying like it's over like he completely fainted his heart. He would not even answer, but you would ask him the questions and shit. Uh, we finally called ambulance with my father. Ambulance came. And they checked his uh, heart rate. So he claimed, I don't know, that he has a problem with the heart and stuff like this. Pressure. Everything was normal. There was no problem in it. And then my father did the unthinkable. He told the uh, ambulance people that the only problem he has is actually with the spine a little bit. So that he's like fucking laughing at me straight in the face, right in front of the ambulance people. Then he did even more beautiful thing after they left, he would make that face like he did on the MK Ultra, like he promised he would. And he said, who ditch? This is stuff I'm going to play you, audio recording separately. And he explained to me very well that who ditch, Satan, devil, I am the one, who ditch. He explained to me very well that it's going to be a game between him and me. It's either going to be him or I. And that was it. That was a thank you for everything I did that night. And then I headed to a bathroom to wash his uh, pants in which he shit, basically. And that's exactly what he told me under MK Ultra the case is going to be. This is not a honey honeymoon MK Ultra for those of you who think that this is something like this uh, this is the kind of mental shit that you will you will get to see it you will touch it and uh, you're gonna have to handle it not only with taking it this or that but even the way I do it right now you're going to have to even justify in case you want to keep your parents around for who, how, and why. This morning, this is what I'm going to do is that I'm going to play you this in the next video. This is going to be this video here. It's this one and this one here. This here. These two videos are the videos that are coming as a next video in where I will demonstrate you, explain you everything. You're going to hear the ambulance people, rescue people, explaining that they did not observe anything abnormal, actually. Therefore, the whole thing was really just fake. In case you don't actually want to believe the stuff that I say. And I am telling you, this is was this is a real MK Ultra bullshit. This is a real stuff. The stuff I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you even a single word. There's just so much more that I'm not saying. Because I don't have a time. But I do remember a lot. 
in this audio however what i am going to do i am just going to play you and demonstrate you even i can demonstrate you kopsch directly peter kopsch psychiatrist is involvement in this stuff like that he says that he's going to do this but when we go out on a shopping with mom they have everything ready they have everything ready, everything everything that was under MK Ultra. They will take me everywhere under MK Ultra. They take you everywhere. They take you to the store. They take you here. They take you there. Wherever they go, they take you. And they have their people coming, meeting you, and instilling bullshit in you. That's how the brain shit works. You're going to hear a man saying, people usually that return home, you know, uh, they want to be nice. And I was actually the threat from Peter Kopsch, personally, who told me that when you come back from Poland, that you're going to be nice to mama and this and that, tra, 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 right? From one side like this and from another side like this, or I will destroy you and I don't know what and so on and so forth. The name Kopsch written all over the fucking place. Uh, the best for me is to just have to recording because I have some other stuff that I want to demonstrate like it proofs If I'm lucky enough, I am going to be able to demonstrate you. Um, but I almost kind of doubt it because the thing is that nowhere in the city of the Novo Mest anymore, uh, the Google Maps is functioning. Uh, let's let it be whatever the Irish pin. Uh, this is just um, like a big ass tour. I think the best tour, better than all German tours, cheaper. Uh, food is much more affordable. It's a quality store. It's a really good shop, uh, groceries uh, shopping store. Um, and I know that Merkel is going to be very unhappy for me to state this. She wanted me to glorify and Spar and Lidl and Hofer and this and that. But you know, I'm getting really tired of this. Put this done. Gas bomb. Now, when I get the car out, now you tell me basically that this bomb is outside, right? Thanks. I tell my mom. I the bridge. I tell my mom. Go in the car and let's go, I tell her. I already put this thing inside. And the thing is, I tell her, yeah, you don't understand. I know you don't understand. You know, I just want to go. I don't want to have arguments. And she just waits for this opportunity to tra 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 tra. I explain her, even if I explain you, you will still not understand. It doesn't matter. This is the way it is. Uh, she, frankly, she cannot even afford herself to understand. What's that, sir? I tell her, see it, mom, see it, let's go. What's that, sir? I could still cut you at least, Maria. Uh, I don't want her to lock the doors. I don't want her to anything. I just want her to sit in the car and go. I don't want anything. I want to do everything when I go. I don't like when, you know. I told her, I say, you, you don't understand and you don't want to understand. I told you a hundred times how I was with my spine and you don't, you don't want to understand. 
And my mom said, stop uh, BSing with me. Uh, you would like to see me in the wheelchair and then you will understand. That you will believe. Uh, if I would not understand, uh, I wouldn't do everything on my own. Yeah, well, she does nothing concerning me. I explained her the problem with my spine, that how, what I cannot hold, and so on, what affects me the most, this is a waste of time. Zato pizda je tam, se obiraš, gor dol, čakam, kurba, avto, to, garaža odprta, končno avto, vendam, pa pa, o, bom boj še treba noter da. Ja, to škripo. Pretty much what I explained. I waited, nothing is happening. I take the car out, o, it's time to put the bomb inside of the car. Ne, tako kot je bi čakala, da dam avto ven in se skupi. Why do I play this stuff here? I play this stuff deliberately because Andrea, the nurse from the psychiatric hospital, Andrea Jerich told me, if you are going to do this, you are 100% in a trouble, if you're going to argue and so on and so forth. So let's say, let's just say I want to be in trouble. Uh, okay, I don't want to argue whatever. Uh, we go inside of the store. This is now audio recorded inside of the Eurospin, which I demonstrated you a little earlier. Čistna robe svet, čistna robe svet, these are the people in Eurospin all involved in this stuff. The thing is that now it's, na robe svet means the upside down world. And the lady does exactly what she said, she promised me she would. Na robe svet, na robe svet. Uh, my father is the one who is using this word, na robe svet. My father is the one who does it. I don't know anybody else. My father told me many times that I am going to do uh, what otherwise is not done. That kind of stuff. That others do it like this, but I, do, I am going to do it like that. You know, kind of a bully stuff. Just another one. Let's go. Uh, a cashier, a cashier talking to another guy involved in MK Atra, and the guy says, uh, next to the cashier, she says, a little bit more, a little bit more, just a little bit more. When we come home, we have to be in a bad mood. When we come home, we have to be in a bad mood. Evo, that is a Dr. Kapsch, the stuff that I told you about. This is all stuff. Hey, 
I don't go out there when I go just to waste, you know, do nothing. You know, I know what I was taught. I remember from MK Ultra. And he goes, uh, normally, you can normally so. No, you can say no, normal. You can normal, normal. Normal, you can say no. Uh, I tell you one more time. I tell you one more time. This is the man next to us. Are you listening to me? I am telling you one more time. Are you listening to me? So this is the guy with another one. They imitated Kopsch. Uh, Kopsch involved in this psychiatrist. That you will listen this. Uh, Kopsch wanted to have some kind of control. He wanted me to fear him and so on. He just. My mother is laughing. You can hear she's happy. She's laughing. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you would have people uh, that would walk right by her and they're giving her sign like you know like this like that whatever it is whatever they interpreted it they are giving her like a moral support you know it's like she feels like empowered like uh, part of this community real folks this doesn't have anything to do with my mom my mom would do anything possible to eventually save my ass but she had to play by these rules and uh, eventually, in a way, I feel sorry for it, but uh, she has a fate into the very, very wrong people. Uh, in respect to this jaw here, this curvation jaw, the photo that she, she had made for her personal ID, you know, that's a personal ID uh, that I understand was issued to her. Uh, 10 years ago, because you know, that's basically the end. It ends right here on the 6th, I understand. That's her picture uh, she have taken. And it's this picture that it appears that she have taken uh, basically at the same time as she have taken this picture. And, um, you know, at the same photograph, Asia inside of the Studio 5, you know, Photo Boutique 5, told me, unlike father, whom you actually might even catch in so-called afterlife, you will never see me once I disappear. I will not play with this. Once I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Uh, she conditioned me tremendously a lot with uh, Mitya Weber and with my niece. But Mitya Weber and my niece, this is... Um, this is a lost case. It's called a satisfaction. It's called dignity. I deem personally that without the dignity, you are just a regular piss. A nobody and nothing. Uh, I believe that for everything that has been done to you, you have the right to retaliate. In order for you to remain a human being with a reasonable means, basically it depends on how. Now my niece, what she did, 
prepared for my return from Poland is not nice. This is not a nice stuff at all. What she hoped for through the stuff uh, and even resorted herself to more violence, she didn't do this for Putin. She didn't do this for these people. She did it out of her own interests. That's a real evil. But for them, I was told they're not going to touch them. I was only told they're going to touch my mom and my dad. The social services are going to take them away. Uh, and you're going to be basically jobless, without dime in your pocket, uh, and starving and stuff like this. Let's just continue with this uh, audio. The next location I go to with my mom is actually huh, almost in front of Peter Kapsch. Uh, it's Berlin. that same day mom takes me to this place here yeah okay uh to put it plain and simple we're gonna do it like this i just wanna see that i have the on the map also a police station and i'm gonna do it like that, and we're going to do this. And that's a really simple thing for me to do now. Rather than to play with the Google Maps. That's a police station, folks. This here is where I and my mom are standing. And this is where the Peter Kopp psychiatrist is located. A uh, psychiatrist maybe is located away from where we are at right now. Yeah. Well, he is uh, 50 meters, but not more than that. The police station about probably 150 200 meters this is the police station right here that you see here this is a mega police station in the city of the novo mesto so you see we have everything at one place let's continue Even the way he talks, it's like a cop. This is like a total, total resemblance of it. All right, uh, we are already now at this intersection. Uh, as I suggested, psychiatrist cops is just 50 meters away. This is the same day. From this door, we go to this one here. This is it. It's right here. Why don't we actually do it just like that here? They're gonna do it like this. They're gonna do it like that. To make things more presentable, eventually I'm gonna do it like this. And uh, let's see, like that. I didn't mean to do this, but okay, here it is. Gonna do like that. That's his place, and that's me and my mom, where we are basically standing at. And this here, this is a police station right here, do you see it? It's right here.
and so it goes. Mom doesn't know what the semaphore a light uh, is used for. Actually, excuse me, a button on a semaphore light, on a traffic light. You know, the button that you press so you can cross the street, you can cross the road, basically, uh, for the semaphore light to turn green. She does not know, she does, she has no idea. What's that now? Now she at home already is a father that doesn't know anything, doesn't know anything uh, in Guala. Now it's mom that also doesn't know anything anymore. Uh, maybe not anymore. It was all kinds of stuff on this MK Ultra. That could happen to me too. Um, don't be surprised when the spring comes, if I spring back to powers was what my father stated. Other scenarios added, if you will still manage to get me fishing by then, if I was, you're okay, if I'm still gonna be alive. Basically, I did everything possible to take my father and to walk on exercise and on a fishing, but somehow, some way, it always ended like unimpressed with it. I could not satisfy him in absolutely, absolutely any way. Just, I got a backlash in return, and my mom too, and I audio recorded it. He got royal treatment. Uh, I put shoes on his legs, I make him wear clothing, set him in the car, drove him to fishing in a cold, freezing cold, feed fish. So the fish came and the only thing he had to do is pull the fish out. And it was nothing special to him. Sit back in the car and bring him back home in a warm place. On other occasion we were not that lucky at all and uh, he couldn't help himself to turned to bitter humor. Humor. Um, not a lot of gratitude for the time you spent rather than doing important stuff. But you do take one so that you do take him away on uh, a fishing trip for a walk maybe, for something so that he gets a little relaxed. Uh, improve his heart rate, let's say. My mom doesn't know what the semaphore light is. Now, what's even better is she, start to, she starts to argue with me that this is actually not true, that the, the bottom is used for the light to change to green. Well, we go back to the booklet scenario if MK Ultra it was like this, it was like this. I had to listen inside of the car. My mom knew very well what the bottom, the semaphore uh, bottom, bottom is, what one is used for. Knew very, very well. 50 meters away from psychiatrist Kopsch, because of MK Ultra scenario, continuation of her, you know, game, I tell her that maybe I tell her no, I tell her mom uh, because she doesn't want to believe me that this is what the button says for I tell her mom the psychiatrist is not too far from here <laughs> actually I tell her uh, the two of us are gonna start to talk a little bit about a help from psychiatrist. Uh, my mom is a very good friend with the cops. These people are pff, father, I have no idea how, how long they, they, these people know each other. 
and he's right there he's in front of us that's supposed to be for me something a little Okay, I demonstrate my mom uh, what the button at the semaphore light is used for. She is instead laughing at me, yes. She says, yeah, what else, haha. -ha. I don't know, she keeps giving her comments in respect to this as a BS is not true. That I'm blind to her, whatever. Uh, now I tell her, I tell her, well, mom, the psychiatrist is not too far from here. Uh, that's what my mom told me under MK Ultra is going to be very, very bad if she's going to say. I am nothing afraid to go to him. We already were at his place where she would take me to in the past, where I would go with her. I had to check with psychiatrists per psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> when she says, I am nothing afraid to go to see him, I, I tell her, well, mom, I say, <laughs> this is what I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. She says, eh, it would be already handy to me, she says. <laughs> yes. I, says I say to her, you know. Uh, I am afraid, I tell her, I'm afraid that you are not. Uh, whatever, don't worry about, don't be nothing afraid for me, whatever they're gonna... Take me, I will be there. She's laughing. I will have a golden piece, she says. I will, again, the same thing. I will have everything cooked. I will be on the worm. I will have everything. Well, Mr. Peter Kops. Some way, somehow, home for elderly in Slovenian city of the novel Mesto was identified according to MK Ultra. I did well on this one here, I know so. I know that she knows what that looks like on the inside. I know they prepare them for this stuff. I was told a stuff that I'm going to be starving and this and that when the parents are going to be gone. Eventually even something that they're going to give me some kind of financial for like two or three months something like this money or something to get by 
And if I don't get the job, then now I'm on my own and all kinds of stuff like this. They involve all kinds of scenarios in MK Ultra. That's the way it goes. She's looking for something, and I tell her maybe we can go to Eurospeed and we can go here. She says we have to go home. Uh, one more time, I tell her now, do you know why this green light came up? Do you know now? Uh, I want to hear what she says. Not because that guy was pressing the button, not because of that. That's for sure that not. So you're sure it was not for that reason, okay. Okay, uh, so I tell her then, then you already have a serious problem, let me see. She knew very well what that's for. Now she continues and she says, if you're blind, then you press over there and whatever. So that he gives you the voice if you're blind. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, folks, um, if we go a little bit to this proofs here, the only thing I am going to do, this is the kind of stuff that they told me this is the kind of stuff that would get my father immediate uh, parents immediately in trouble yes. <laughs> Два человека, три, три люди без налогу на грану. Спешен Еград, лих не халестага ест. Пага фокнеш у смети, раеш, раеш. Не, занимиво е то да си учитала. Занимиво е то да си учитала. Така ко сам ко сте ме мел па здрогера на па световала како змите ове бром па зорша како здрава е солато е. За то, за то. То ни преганиње, то ни преганиње змало. То е за други ствари дело. On this video, my mom. Why I did this stuff? This is a very good salad. Uh, it's like a wild salad uh, that probably would be a portion that was fresh of this salad, fresh, was thrown straight into the garbage just so I wouldn't get the one. Right after the meal, she could prepare it actually a quarter of this would be enough for her and for that instead a huge portion of it was thrown in the garbage and I say to her you know it wasn't only I'm not doing this because of this I tell her I'm doing this because of what you told me all of you how good the green is to fight cancer cells uh, and now Evidently, you don't even allow me to have a salad. <laughs> I did not get any salad, folks. Anything regarding the uh, soup, there would be a bones, uh, stuff like this, that she prepared for herself and for father. Everything was hidden outside on a terrace. Uh, the salad like this was thrown away. Uh, the only thing I heard was uh, my niece, her husband, bashing about the salad. Uh, my mom explaining me how the two are vegetarians who eat nothing other than salad. And reminding myself of the two, how they were explaining me that based on what I have observed from other test subjects, 
concerning lymph nodes, gland nodes, they only eat salad. So that I decided, since that's the case, why not to record this stuff? This is my long awaited. Yeah, that's my father destroys me, breaks me the MP3 player nicely with the knife. That's okay. You have already seen that video. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Peter Kapsch, uh, however, got very, very, very personal with me one time. And uh, but basically that's here, when he got really, really personal with me. That was like a little bit maybe too, too personal, maybe. I'll let you decide this. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I did not put on... Uh, Okay, rather than he would go and ask somebody or something like that, he was trying to break the window that day, something yet I have to put maybe, I don't know, for how long. Uh, I don't know, but at least 20 minutes, at least. But this year, this was really, really personal. This is what uh, Mr. Kops got very, very, very personal. This was like a really, really personal one. Because personal, because uh, uh, he figured out that it would be good to film me when I was thrown on a psychiatric drugs. Uh, they used uh, all kinds of threats, all kinds of stuff during MK Ultra. Father did on. how I'm going to be thrown inside of the